I've got a lot of gifts here that I was given on my trip to Florida. So I want to chat about the lovely friends I met and the gifts that we exchanged. And also, I have been doing some sewing since I've got back. My name is Carol, welcome to my sewing room. This is hashtag Friday Sews. And we all know, but I will still say, thank you very much to Jen from today in Jen's sewing room. Big shout out and a big hug to her. And I was lucky enough to meet up with her last week. She brought this sewing community together uh, under the hashtag Friday Sews. So we can all chat about what we've been sewing, a little bit about life and so on and so forth. So don't forget to check out all the other vloggers as there are in excess, I think of 250 that use the hashtag now. So I'm gonna start with the gifts. I have been doing some sewing, so I will share that with you, but I saw quite a few people on my trip in Florida and I want to share the lovely things that they gave me. So I hope you don't mind me sharing them. I'm going to start in order of that I met people. So the first week I managed to meet up with Grace from So Lovely With Grace and the lovely Deb from Deb's Way. Right, so Deb, lovely Deb, gave me some lovely sewing goodies. I've got a lovely coaster saying a day spent sewing is a very good day. A marvellous little, uh, very pretty tape measure, just Perfect. I always carry one in my handbag. You never know when you need it. Some lovely labels. Um, uh, it's with much love in every thread. Always handy. And a to-do list. How pretty is that with the ditzy flowers on there? And I use lists all the time, so I was very happy with that. It's got a very fancy gold pen on the side as well. So that was Deb. I also met up with Grace, as I said. Grace knows me very well and gave me this wonderful mini fabric, Disney fabric, so that's fantastic. I think it is a fat quarter there, might be a little bit more than that actually. She also gave me a sewing project. Now whether this is a hint, I don't know, to be more organised perhaps, but it's fantastic. You've got, look, I mean I'm sure all of you probably use these already, but I'm very much I make something, I'm lucky enough if I write it down in a book what number I made and that's as far as it goes. But this should get me far more organised. So the project overview, construction, everything. Will I be? Mm -hmm. It's worth giving it a go. Now, we all know that Grace is exceptionally good on her embroidery machine. She made me this wonderful phone bag, isn't it? Awesome, got my initial on there, C. Um, she did it in, in the hoop project, um, which she quite often talks about, and it's something that I really must get and have a go at on my brother machine. But yeah, it's got this lovely, got the uh, detachable straps, you've got flap there, you've got an extra pocket there. It's really, really super, I absolutely love it. And the piestre resistance, was um, this little uh, charm that she did also on the embroidery machine. Um, it's just wonderful. Thank you so much, Grace. You were very generous and generous with your time as well. Uh, she also gave me some fabric glue. And the reason that is she gives me two bottles because she wanted some, had to buy a packet of three, didn't want the other two. So I snapped them up because my fabric glue is very old. The second week I met up with the lovely Jen and Trish who, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be doing YouTube because they're the ones that really sort of pushed me to get started. So I'm always forever grateful to them. The lovely Jen also knows me very well because she has given me this wonderful cotton. Of course it's Disney, of course it's Disney, but it's a good chunk of it and it's super soft so you could to use it for lots of things but yeah it's got all the characters on so I will be making something with that not sure what she'd wrapped it up in these two beautiful ribbons I love collecting ribbons so it's very pleased with that thank you very much Jen Trish uh, gave my husband some lovely cookies so he was very pleased because he wasn't left out and Trish also gave me this 
<laughs> tea towel and it will remind me of her house because I think it's got every animal on there that actually is in. Um, so we've got Pinky's Farm where she has a selection of uh, goats and chickens and she has a pig. So every time I use that I can think of Trish. Chocolates of course and it's, I don't know how you say it but I think it's Ghirardelli and I love Ghirardelli chocolates and obviously we can only get them in the US. Um, I wanted to go into the shop that's in Florida in Orlando and the queue was so long I just I couldn't wait but yeah I still have some chocolate. She also made me this wonderful pen. Now I can't believe uh, that you can make these but the idea is you get uh, I think the base and then you add the jewels on the top and um, isn't that cute. She made one for my daughter as well because my daughter was over there. But I chose that one and she also gave me this lovely charm and it's actually quite funny. Um, my daughter uh, is a Disney fanatic and collects lounge fly bags. Um, she has quite a few of them but Trish had obviously seen this wonderful bracelet charm and it's got a little rucksack on just the same shape as a lounge fly bag and I think that is just so adorable. Isn't that cute? So. I will uh, definitely be wearing that and rubbing it into my daughter that I have not a lounge fly bag but a lo lovely bracelet. Honestly it's so wonderful meeting up with those ladies. I cannot describe if you ever get the chance to meet up with some YouTube friends or some sewing friends make the time to do it because it was fantastic. I had a lovely um, well more or less the whole day spent with Grace and Deb. We did some shopping. Um, I'm sure they've talked about it on their channels already. We did some shopping together and then we had a lovely lunch and the men joined us as well so that was fun. And Jen and Trish the following week uh, they came over. They came over to meet me in Orlando and we went for a very fun day out. The weather was atrocious so it was the best thing to be doing shopping. We went to Hobby Lobby, Joanne's, and a thrift store and they had some lunch so we had a great time. It was just every time we see each other it's just like I mean it was a year ago since I saw them but we just click and got on straight away so very sad to be back now in the UK um, but hopefully I will get over there again maybe next year. So what am I wearing today? Well while I was away I put a video out about a um, fabric haul that I had done before I went away. There will be another video coming out about a fabric haul of all the fabrics that I bought when I was in Florida. But this fabric here, when I held it up, everybody said they love the pink the best. So I said to everybody in the comments that that will be the one I make up first. And sure enough, I have made this lovely little top. Wasn't quite what I was going to make with it, but um, I made the Birda top which is Birda 6329. I wanted to make the long sleeve version. I don't know what I was thinking because I only had a meter of this fabric so that was not going to happen. So I thought okay I'll make the short sleeve version. Well those sleeves are really really wide and I didn't have enough fabric for that either. Right so this is one I made last year and I just want to show you how wide those sleeves are. They do come out really wide. So knowing that, I thought I would reduce the sleeve pattern down a bit, and I did. I think I took a picture in of it, but I took in that much there. And as you can see, it still made kind of a nice shape. And I, it's almost nicer than the other one because the other one, one was too big and it was really annoying when I put a cardigan on but this is a bit better so it's a bit looser it's a viscose jersey so it's really floppy um, and I think it works well but yeah I'm really really pleased with it it's got these pleats here you do a binding neckband um, not the normal kind of t-shirt neckband but it's a bright colour I absolutely love it I'm wearing it with my jeans of course my favourite jeans with the pockets in the front so yeah I'm very happy and um, I hope you are too because that was the fabric that you really loved when I 
did my fabric call before I went away. So after making this pretty little top, I cracked on and made something that I wanted to get my teeth into. Now they are behind me. I'm going to do a pattern review on this. So I'm going to brush over it for now and I will be doing a pattern review because there's a lot to say about it. But this is the Stylark Rafe Knit, R-A-P-H Knit Polo Top. Um, I suppose really it's a golfing top. I was inspired by a photo I saw of an online shop for clothing, which we never go to anymore, do we? Um, and I wanted to recreate it. So this was the pattern that was nearest to it. Now, I know this is a style art pattern and I, as you can see, I've got notes written all over it. The instructions are there and there are, you get more instructions on this than you would normally, but it wasn't great, I have to say. Um, I really like them. This is one I did. I made the first one as kind of a tester and this actually was a bed sheet I picked up in Florida last year in a thrift shop. It's, it is a cotton jersey but it's quite cheap and thin but I did make it up and I was really pleased but when I was doing it I really thought I should have another go in some cotton jersey and try and film bits about how I did it or tried to do it. So it, I would not recommend this pattern for a beginner unless, as a beginner, you have done a placket like this before, um, where you've got these two strips here, facings, and it goes to this binding. If you've not done one of those before, I do not recommend it. Also, the collar was a very different way of putting a collar on than I would do normally, and it's got binding. Now, some of you may have done that with indie patterns, I'm not sure. The instructions are not great. So, whilst I am really happy with them, I made a size 10, so I made it true to size, so it does come out true to size. Um, I'm really happy with them. They're not perfect, but I'm just gonna have to go with that. But yeah, great size, really like them. Kind of an elevated kind of t-shirt, isn't it really, just with a collar. So I'm going to put uh, my review, proper review out for that next week probably and in there will be after I've chatted about it I'm going to put some little bits of filming about how I kind of worked out how to do it um, as I say the instructions are there but it's the pictures that aren't great don't really make it clear so it may help some of you obviously I'm not an expert but I kind of worked out how to do it when I looked online for reviews I could hardly find any there was one uh, lady that talked about, um, has an online website, actually talked about the difficulty in doing the, the placket the same and the collar the same. Uh, I found another one that said how they really bodged up this placket because of the instructions. So whilst I'm very happy with those, um, I would say not for a beginner unless you've done this, but I will chat more about it next week. I managed to do some crocheting on the flight over to Orlando. So that was a nearly a 10 hour flight. I managed to make uh, one of these coasters that I talked about. Now, <laughs> this was fun. Uh, so you've got, I prepared this before I went. This was a bit of quilting cotton. It's padded um, and then you sew uh, blanket stitch all the way around the edge. And I honestly, it's like a child has done it because it is so bad not even at all um, and then you crochet using the uh, loops of the blanket stitch well I have to say I have not crocheted for quite a while and I couldn't remember the differences between the English and I think Australian crochet stitches and the American because they're too different what is a double crochet in America is something completely different in the UK and I actually couldn't remember what I was doing this was UK instructions and I couldn't remember and I obviously you're up on a plane so you can't just google anything uh, there wasn't any Wi-Fi so I just kind of made it up and it what I they told me to do stuff and I kind of did it and it does look pretty and it does look lacy but I can't be convinced in telling you this is what it was meant to look like I did have more success with my two pot holders because they were very, very simple. That is an American double crochet stitch. <laughs> simple for them. I think um, I got the idea for making them from Tiffany from Who's Your Handmade. She'd made some very similar. 
So I managed to get some yarn obviously with the, the different colours in there. That one is meant to be yarn with different colours in but oh, it looks a bit muddy and dirty doesn't it? It didn't come out very well at all. Much prefer that one. So yeah I made these two little pot holders. Um, I'm making another one at the moment actually because they were great just to do. So simple. I can see why Tiffany did them just to keep her amused. So did some crochet. I've also got a few other things I want to make. I need to make some linen trousers before spring hits. Now it's been like winter here this week I have to say but yeah I really want to get cracking and make some linen trousers out of the blue fabric that I did show in that fabric haul. I have also still got this lovely piece of fabric from my fabric wheel of fate. This is a striped jersey interlock that my lovely friend Adam from Adam Sews gave me. This is the Fabric Girl fabric and as you can see I've made nothing with it yet so I have to do that next week because I need to move on and go forward. It's just what I'm going to make with it is, is my problem because it's the interlock and it hasn't got much recovery so I've got to, I think I know what I'm going to do now but yeah must do that next week. Obviously we had a wonderful time in Florida. It, we all went as a great family, my son and his family and my daughter and her family. And the reason was, is my daughter was 30 when we were over there. My grandson, my eldest grandson was also seven. So a lot of birthday celebrations. My daughter always said she wanted to spend her 30th in Disney and we made it happen and we all had a marvelous time. We did a lot of the Disney parks, but I have to say a couple of times my husband and I escaped off into a bit of nature. You know we love nature. So we just wanted to get away from the concrete a little bit. Now I have to say we went to Bock Tower Gardens in just south of Orlando and it was beautiful. So if you live in that area in Florida and you've never been, then I really do recommend it. Um, I may put some, obviously I'm going to put some Disney photos up at the end, but I'm going to sneak those in as well because that's the real Orlando. These gardens were just beautiful and they had a lovely tower with, now I'm going to say this wrong, carillon bells, carillion bells in it that would chime and do tunes and then at kind of one o'clock and three o'clock they would just do like a live concert with somebody playing them. It was really wonderful and just a bit of peace and tranquility away from all the family and all the Disney hype. So we also went to a state park as well which was equally as tranquil. One thing I nearly forgot to tell you about was my wonderful trip to Pinky's Farm. Now I was lucky enough and I'm sure she's talked about it on her channel but I was lucky enough to visit her three times. She is the most wonderful hostess. For one reason or another, we ended up going to her house twice, which was marvellous. The second time was such a gracious host. We, the whole family went. Um, my grandsons were very keen on meeting her animals. So I will put a couple of photos up there. Hope Trish doesn't mind. But um, Trish was just absolutely marvellous with those two boys, knew exactly how to deal with them. And um, yeah, she took them to see all the animals and the boys initially a little bit scared, but yeah, really got into to the swing of feeding them. So that was just marvellous. Thank you so much, Trish, for being so wonderful for doing that. So we had a great time. We had a very mixed time. And obviously I saw my friends. What more could I want? Honestly, it was amazing. But good to be back in my sewing room. Thank you very much for joining me this week for Hashtag Friday Sews. You may be asking, why hasn't she shown anything that she bought? Well, I did buy quite a few things and I didn't want this video to go on too long. So I will be putting a video out again next week of the things I bought. The patterns I bought are back here, but I have a big wadge of fabric that I brought back with me. So keep your eye out for that uh, Florida fabric haul that I put out next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Hope everyone's safe and well and enjoying some spring weather or some autumn weather, depending which side of the globe you live. Uh, thank you again and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye bye for now. Mm -hmm.